Hello there, Sheldon. Well, if it isn't the host of the one and only expedition, what a pleasure it is to have you in my little store. I'm a fan of your map analyses. Do you have a name that I can more casually call you by? I prefer to keep this as formal as possible. I'm also a fan of your work, too. Not everyone can mass produce a bunch of weapons for millions of players like yourself, sir. Speaking of weapons, I was wondering how you ended up creating some of yours. If you have a few minutes, I'd love to use them as research for upcoming documentaries of mine. They could be very useful. Talk about these babies here? I can talk about these babies forever if you really want me to. I can talk about what I merely thought of to create these weapons. I can talk about what their uses are, what they're good for, how many tears I busted while creating them, how much sweat I- We're fine, Sheldon. Splylock has told me a ton of your love to talk about those weapons. Make it stop! Okay. <clears throat> I'll be sure to be as straight as the ruler I measure these babies with. Please do. <clears throat> How about the Clash Blaster? How'd you come up with the Clash Blaster? You know, man, I hate children. Skipping through my lectures on weapons I work my butt off trying to mass produce for their entertainment. I think that's just everyone. Referring to me as a mere machine to simply throw money at for their weapon. Money is good and all, but you can't talk to money about your passions and desires and all. But it's okay, because I ended up getting the last laugh on every single last one of them. Tell me, you've researched a good amount of players in your time. What's something that all of them unanimously Famously hate! Well, that would be the low skill floor weapons. Typically blasters or rapid shooting weapons that can kill players with some of the least effort- Oh, you sadistic little- Exactly! So I create a rapid firing blaster with these children's least favorite time of year in mind. The first day of school. <gasps> you seen the absolute hatred they all had for this weapon? It's absolutely magnificent! Sometimes I'm surprised by my own genius. I got them crayons and a pencil sharpener to remind them of their favorite little school supplies as well. I never knew your weapon designs were fueled by this kind of passion, Sheldon. I'm surprised you weren't on Team Chaos for the final Splatfest. Well, for every low skill floor weapon like the Clash Blasters and Splooshes, there's high skill floor weapons like the Chargers and Blah Blahbers. Also, as long as daddy's making cash, I don't care who buys my weapons. It could be some polite, orderly kid or the Terminator for all I care. Well, for chaotic or orderly intentions, I'm learning of the passion behind your weapon making. You've even told the people in your lectures that the Clash is designed for chaos, so you're at least semi-transparent. On the topic of your passion, how'd you come up with something as simple as... The Squeezer. So anyway, I started a Celeste drinking game and- God, forget I said anything. We have people of all ages here watching. <laughs> How about the Slosher? Oh, well, this is gonna be a lot more of a boring story. Imagine, uh, it's August 4th, 2015. The big men who operate the Turf Wars and other modes told me they wanted two weapon classes. Now, I put so much effort into creating the Splatling class. I was calculating the precise force needed to give the Splatling shots the precise amount of range necessary to be a decently balanced weapon. And through the countless sleepless nights, I found the winning formula and created everyone who can't aim's favorite backliner, later to be succeeded by the mini Splatling. Hail Hydra Incarnate, the Nautilus, and a gigantic ballpoint pen. And then I ran out of time to make the other weapon class, so I just remodeled an old bucket I had for use. Wait, so, so you mean a, a weapon class that has been dominating the meta at numerous points during our time at Inkopolis Plaza and Square, and has been causing a lot of other players with similar or less range serious problems, was just something you found around the house? Yep, so that means the Sasha machine is after all, uh, yep, you're catching on. Of course, reworked to shoot ink instead of water so it's supposedly safer and you don't get sued. Look at you, you're finishing my sentences now. <laughs> and the blah blobber. It really is a- Yes, sir. Sheldon! Okay, last one. How'd you come up with the gold dynamo roller? Well, typically, as you found out by now, I usually go salvaging for parts and refurbishing them or being inspired by them, and I did that with the regular carbon and flings of rollers. But for the dynamo rollers, I wanted the wielder to feel the immense power behind it. You're in the worst. Yep, that too! But I think we can agree that the gold dynamo has a type of aura surrounding it. 
Wouldn't you agree? An aura other than the ink armor the thing spams? Let me get the top dogs to Lelai's ink strike again so we can turn this place into Tornado Alley? No, sir. That's what I thought, my friend. But while the normal, tempered, and cancer dynamo were crafted with different types of iron and steel, wouldn't know what the gold dynamo was crafted from? I mean, if I was a betting man, I'd say gold? Oh, come on now. That part's obvious, especially for someone as esteemed as you. What type of gold? I mean, unless you're Bruno Mars and rocking 24 karat gold with these, I don't quite know the exact quality of gold, it's- It's the gold of the players who pay me that create these weapons! You all led to the creation of this menace! Why do you think the dynamo is priced so high and you unlock it so much higher into the levels? Because I simply need enough gold in order to produce them! I already have a monopoly over in Goplis that makes me rich, and with all of you big shots with max gold saying you want to burn it all, I took you all's advice quite literally. While Sean's over there working with those pointless and worthless tickets, I'm quite literally burning my money. <laughs> oh my god, you capitalist crap. <laughs> well, Sheldon, I can say I've learned a lot about your creative flow. A pleasure to help. And if you never need any tips on the weapon, or how I make them, or a five-page essay on the history of any weapon, or how the heck my bamboozler even works, oh, okay, or... Sheldon, bye!